kind of uh, reinforce having search like what you hope to accomplish having what you were coming off yeah I think just um, <coughs> you know dealing with everything this year it was uh, you know a little bit of a road but uh, I feel pretty good on the ice so uh, definitely feel better than last year which is um, you know makes it feel like a good decision you know you're never really sure going into surgery if it's the right decision or not but I feel like I put it off for two to three years so it was probably time to do it and uh, yeah really happy with everything obviously um, you know feel like uh, it's gonna get better and better as time goes on too which is exciting so um, I think it's been uh, it's been a good decision for sure. Is it to the point where you don't have to think about it or you don't think about it um, anymore or like... Yeah, I mean the thing is I'm not feeling pain on the ice so that's, you know, a lot different than what I was used to the past couple of years, two and a half seasons, so uh, that's exciting. I think, um, you know, you always want to stay on top of it off the ice and make sure you're doing the right things to, you know, keep it up and make sure you're keeping your strength up and uh, um, staying activated, things like that. So I think it'll always be something to keep your eye on and, and a little bit of a process. But as far as uh, where I'm at compared to last year, it's it's a big difference. And, uh, you know, excited to uh, just keep dialing it in more and more and keep getting better with uh, the hip and feeling it out and just um, progressing it as time goes on. Just the uh, fit here, I mean, is, is, couldn't have worked out any better for you? Just yeah, it's been great. I mean, uh, nothing but positive things to say about the organization and the coaches and the team in here. So, uh, really happy with the decision to come here. Obviously, you know, it's um, not an de easy decision on deciding where you want to play and uh, where you think you'd fit best. But, um, yeah, really happy with coming here. And it's been great being a wing and just playing at the LCA and the fans, the way the fans have embraced me. It's been, uh, you know, you never really know with the Chicago-Detroit rivalry. So it's um, it's uh, it's really been great. I've been happy with everything. You've had so much success in your career. What is it? Or do you enjoy this? You know, like every game is just of such magnitude now. Yeah. And you score in the second left yesterday. Like, it's just... You know. No, yeah, I know. It's uh, kind of a meaningless goal, but still, uh, um, you know, it kind of wish there was a little bit more time on the clock. But, um, you know, I think uh, these are the fun games to play in, right? It's, uh, um, you know, fun to be back in the mix. Obviously, we had a great run there in Chicago for a long time, and then kind of went downhill a little bit. So uh, it was fun to be back in playoffs last year and playing with the Rangers, and now just feeling better about my body and myself and my game and being in uh, these important games. It's It's been so fun. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, find a way to get some points on this road trip and get ourselves back into a playoff spot. And uh, obviously these next four games are huge, but none more important than tomorrow. Was the last night kind of frustrating? Or yeah, yeah, it's frustrating for sure. I mean, uh, I think it's frustrating in, uh, in a different way because I feel like we played well. We just didn't really capitalize on our chances or maybe could have made it a little bit tougher on, on the goalie. Um, you know, I know we had a lot of shots and a lot of attempts as well, but uh, just couldn't find a way to uh, to get one by them. And I think we've all been in games like that where, you know, you dominate, you control the pace of play, and then all of a sudden they get one and they get two, and it's like you start pressing a little bit. So. Um, but yeah, I think if we play like that the, the rest of the way out, we should be in good shape. As far as your future, have you, is it something like you want to make a decision fairly soon after the season ends? Or are you uh, kind of like wait and see? Or Yeah, I haven't really thought about it much. It's just, um, you know, obviously, you know, it's in, in the back of your mind and it's coming up where... Um, <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's going to come up eventually, but I think right now it's just more about uh, being in the moment, uh, staying in the present, being here with this team and trying to get in the playoffs. And I think uh, just with the situation I was in and coming in and, you know, being here for, um, you know, maybe three quarters of the season, whatever it was, um, just, uh, you know, that it's um, just this year and then see what happens after. So, uh, but I've, like I said, I have nothing but positive things to say about the organization. Just kind of trying to stay in the moment for this year, and hopefully all that stuff figures, figures itself out after. What do you think about the way Sid and the Edwards are playing, and what do you think is going to be important? Yeah, yeah, they've been playing great. I mean, they've been finding ways to 
get points and win games. I mean, it's been impressive just uh, because you thought they were out of the playoff picture around the trade deadline, right? So uh, they fed quite a run, and um, he's leading the charge. He's still as good as ever. So, uh, yeah, definitely a lot of focus on him and what he's doing out there and make sure we're trying to limit his time and space, make him play in his own end, things like that. So, um, But, yeah, they've been playing great, so it'll be a big game for us. Good you guys, test. You guys have been playing important games for a while now at this point in the season. How have you kept that in perspective? Because you're still right in the mix. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously I think we would have liked to have a better record. Uh, the past month or so, but we're still in the mix. You know, I think uh, things change on a day-to-day -day basis. We're in the playoffs, you lose a game, and all of a sudden you're out of the playoffs. So, obviously the games are uh, are winding down here. We only have four left, but um, these are you treat these as playoff games, so they're fun to be a part of. I, I, I don't know what kind of expectations you have for yourself this season. I know you hold yourself to a high standard, but do you feel like you've, you've met those expectations just from a personal standpoint? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like... As a player, you always feel like there's more. There's more to give. So, um, you know, if uh, I think I'm, I'm happy with um, my production and what I've accomplished, but you always feel like there's a little bit more in the tank. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, I think as uh, as a player, you know, you're always your biggest critic, and you always feel like you can do a little bit more for the team. But I think overall, it's been pretty good. So, uh, just try to keep building, and get better and better. Eric, uh, any uh, further update on Cop? Uh, confirmed what the doctor uh, had anticipated last night, uh, broke his cheekbone, uh, so be unavailable for us uh, tomorrow, obviously, not uh, going on the road trip with us to start. Uh, he's going to have to go through, um, you know, again, I'm not a doctor, but having that, uh, you know, caved in cheekbone there, there's a process to it, and he's got to go through some more uh, protocol here over the next 24 hours, and, you know, this day and age, um, you know, we'll know more next couple of days, but unavailable for uh, Pittsburgh, and uh, would love to see him rolling out with uh, his old Michigan college cage back on, give us some games on the stretch. But that time will tell. Would the plan be for Aston Reese to go in the lineup then, or would, is it still eleven and seven on the? Team? No, Aston Reese will go in the lineup. Uh, you can see the way the lines were formed today. <clears throat> we think we can put a, an effective line together. Uh, with Reese Sarnik and Fisher there, uh, kind of the plan uh, that we're going to start with tomorrow. Rasmussen is still. Yeah, Rasmussen is still out. Uh, day to day, or day to day, day to day. Yes, yeah, still hopeful, uh, but no update. Twenty, twentieth goal yesterday, yep. and you know, yeah, okay, Caps had two goals, but he could have just as easily said, you know, why, why bother with that last goal? But I mean, just. Uh, he, the, yeah. I mean, is it just like daily being impressed by, by yes, what he brings? Yes, of course. Yes, makes a ton of plays. Uh, I mean, he was like everyone else last night. You watch it back. Um, he had a bunch of opportunities to find the net earlier. Uh, but, yeah, he's been been great. I mean, the offense he's produced, uh, the leadership he's brought, you know, the presence he's brought to the room, uh, it's been everything as advertised. We don't have Raz and um, Copper. It's, Size, grip, yeah, penalty kill. You yeah. that's just a little bit of a hole. Little yes, little obviously, uh, you know, Aston Reese again will probably help us on the penalty kill. Uh, you know, having two of our top killers out. Uh, but yes, it was that was uh, when Cop and Rass were playing at a high level. Obviously, then with Fish, it gave us a really productive line. It could kind of free up our top six, if you will, a little bit. But very confident with Valeno getting slotted up. Uh, in our top nine at center. Um, again, really comfortable with our lineup going into Pittsburgh tomorrow. Derek, there was some clamor within the fan base after top injury for Casper to get the call up. I guess I'll just ask on their behalf. Was there any consideration to, to Marco getting that look? No, probably not. We're comfortable at center. Um, you know, we're in Aston Reese, it's over 300 NHL games. <clears throat> we, we, we were excited about some of his experience. So, uh, yeah, not an option. Going back to Kane, I mean, both him, Sidney Crosby, is that what sets them out, how they play this time, like, with so much on, on the line? Now? I think, like, but their approach, too, uh, their will, their drive. I watched the Pittsburgh-Toronto game, uh, obviously intrigued by the outcome, and Crosby was the best player on the ice in the third period. It was noticeably the best player on the ice, was some really good players on both te uh, teams there, so... 
uh, yeah, special. Uncle Downs is one of the greatest ever, and he's pushing that team. And again, it's it's a great opportunity for us. Um, you know, we, you know, Washington came in and found a way to win here. We can go in and find a way to win Pittsburgh. All of a sudden, it's amazing uh, how that math kind of flips and, and turns in our favor again. So. It uh, feels like a playoff, not only the, the caliber of game, the intensity of the game, but managing the highs and lows. Uh, it's no different in a seven-game type series where uh, you play well, find a way to lose. How do you bounce back? Um, this That will be our task uh, for tomorrow. A lot of these teams that are, that are you're competing with, like Islanders, Washington, Pittsburgh, it's like, it seems like you might count them out, and then all of a sudden they catch lightning in the bottle and get get on a roll. Well, is that all it takes? Like you I, get winning, win and yeah. I mean, uh, Washington's lost six straight, and they win last night and find themselves over the line. Uh, we had our struggles. Uh, we win the other night. We find ourselves over the line. Um, I just think these teams that find a way to win. Um, you know, obviously we're all playing each other. So as much as there's someone's going to win, there could be three points. Uh, available, teams are going to lose. So just take care of your business. We have a perfect opportunity. Uh, simple math. We can find a way to take two points, uh, full points against Pittsburgh. Uh, we leapfrog them. So yeah, it's just it's about winning and take care of your own business. It looks like you tinkered a little bit with your top two lines as well. I, I know the bottom because of the injury, but uh, is that more matchup or more trying to? Yeah, it's just on the road sometimes. Or? Um, especially with Pittsburgh, they're a very deep team. And the last time we played them, we had Cannon and Cat together. Uh, they did a really good job of checking them, freeing up Crosby and Malkin um, elsewhere. So I just think it adds a little bit different balance. Um, you know, obviously we're losing two, <coughs> which you referenced, two very important pieces uh, to our forward group with some size. So I just thought it was an opportunity to balance our lines out a little bit going on the road. And some of those identity guys, like, is there a temptation to try to change the way you play? Do you have, do you have to fight a little bit? That's a great question. You just you just ask more from everyone. Um, you know, you need some of that heavy. You need some of that zone time. Um, you, you need to win position a lot, and those guys are able to do it at times. So. I just think you're asking a little more of everyone to step up a little bit more, uh, especially probably not to their identity. Um, but, you know, it's probably, you know, why we've kind of tinkered with our top six a little bit. Um, you know, maybe give Kane a little more puck possession, ozone play, uh, mm -hmm. some, some different play away from the puck. Uh, but, yeah, of course, I mean, that's <clears throat> this time of year, too. You need that zone time, you need that grind time. I mean, even last night, obviously it didn't go our way, <clears throat> but we had five more minutes of zone time against Washington. That's usually a win. That's usually a dominant performance. That's why I felt like we had the puck the whole time. You need parts of that in your game, and those two gave it, gave it to us, so we, we'll need it elsewhere. This has been a hard conference to make the playoffs in. You've referenced this. It's usually taken 97, even 100 points. Are you surprised that that, that barrier for entry, I guess, has, has been a little bit lower? I am. You know, I kind of had a vision all year long about 96. Um, but I just think it's a reality of just everyone beating each other up mm -hmm. and just the, the, the depth of our, you know, division, the depth of our conference, you know, not only are we playing each other, everyone has to go through Washington, or excuse me, Carolina and Toronto and Boston and Florida three or four times. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of what's happening. Uh, teams are kind of beating up on each other. With that lower bar for admission, does the urgency to this opportunity increase? One hundred percent. Again, you we talked about this the other day. <clears throat> this was a dream scenario to be in games like this. No one had us here. Most people projected us seventh in the division. No one had us in the playoffs. And again, not a knock in our group. That was the division. That's the conference. To have an opportunity right here, we, we may not be here next year. Um, you look at some of these lineups and teams are growing, um, you know, not to mention other names, but I don't foresee New Jersey not flirting with 100 points. There's teams around this. You don't get these opportunities, and we're in one. So we have an opportunity 
Last night, we came up short. We have an opportunity tomorrow against Pittsburgh. We would like to seize that opportunity. Derek, Pittsburgh was kind of left for dead. I mean, is it just their pride, or what What have you seen? That They're very talented. Them? I mean, go through their lineup. There's a reason everyone had them in the playoffs to start the season. Not only are there some world-class players, there's some world-class drive there. Um, Neto's playing at a very high level. We've experienced that. Neto probably cost us a few draft picks last year with how well he played at the end of the year. He's capable of some really good goaltending, and, and, and he's a great teammate. He's a winner. I just think it's all they just get rolling. And I, what are they, 6 on 3, something like that, their last nine? That's my point. You win, you're going to find yourself on the good side of it. And right now they're winning. With hey, Cop, um, I was going to say, just, with, uh, just to clarify, with, with Cop and uh, Rasmussen, uh, have they been ruled out for Toronto, or are you going to wait and see? We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Just still got to know more on you know, broken cheekbone. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. It's, you know, it's caved in. They got to take care of that. Uh, obviously, there's some head issue protocols. There's a, there's, there's a, we're still in a early stage of finding some things out. But you've seen this day and age where if they're able to play, uh, you put the cage on, the bubble on, and hopefully available. So um, Ras keeps taking steps, but it's just neither are available for Pittsburgh, and we'll go day to day uh, for Saturday. Okay, from up top, uh, it looked like yesterday you guys. Did a, such a good job funneling puck, like maybe not all high percentage, but yeah. much more efficiently than maybe all a lot of the season. Is that what you want to see? Of course, yeah. I mean, it's <clears throat> you can even see with our guys the frustration that lied in the last night was we executed what we wanted to look like. Or we executed a game plan. We had 81 shot attempts. Uh, we talked about not being around the goalie enough. That was true in rewatching the game, but it was a little better than I thought. Um, you know, I thought we were really poor, just the facial, because it was one or two plays stick out in your mind, but then you watch it, we were getting to that area, we were getting to that hard area, it just didn't go our way. Um, again, you know, having five more minutes of zone time, our breakouts last night were the cleanest and best they may have been all year long, hence the difference in zone time, you know, chances are almost two and a half, three to one, you know. Sports Logic had a great out. They only had one great A. I mean, it's it's frustrating because it's probably a win eight or nine out of ten times. But it wasn't last night. It's the reality of this time of year. Um, we're going to need even a little bit more with an opportunity tomorrow. You're going to go line. Uh, line will start uh, tomorrow. Uh, just and again, we're ready to play James at any time. Uh, you know, we're finishing up. We're in the midst of six games in ten days. We finish with a three and four. Um, you know, we'll kind of go game by game, but we foresee James getting the net in one of these. It's just a matter of when. He played well in Toronto in January. He's, he's well. The bottom line is Alex has given us it to both those guys. He's three oh three and one, I believe, in his last four. He's given us a chance every night. He's competing both goalies, and again, there'll be a lot to reflect back on this season. Um, for us to lose our starting goaltender and for us to be as competitive as we've been in that position is a, speaks volumes on both those guys. They've been excellent for us.